Let us pray. O oh Lord God, we are thankful for the grace we live in and the peace that we have. And today of all days, we recognize the cost of that freedom, the reality of that peace. And Lord, when we act as though freedom means that we can do whatever we want and not care about the consequences, teach us humility and respect. Teach our society what it means to, to regard freedom as a trust and as an engagement to bring peace into people's lives, hope to one another and a continual sense of your love. Freedom is not some attitude to assert against one another. Freedom is an embracing of one another to hope and everlasting life. And Lord, in that liberty Lord, teach us to use our materials, our resources, to build up your kingdom, to build up one another's lives, to build up that sense of love and truth in us and all around us. Lord, we pray today for those places in war and conflict, what we're seeing through East Africa, Ethiopia, Sudan, Lord, we pray for the refugees to spoil from their homes, driven away from their peace and security. Lord, we pray for those who, because of world disasters, are driven from their homes or have no homes left to go to. The ongoing crisis in Haiti, or the already dangerous situation that they had with food insecurity, now increased by the earthquake and in a difficult storm season, in the Mediterranean. But where are we, Lord? Many of us are in comfort and in peace. Oh, Lord, many of us get to do whatever we want, when we want. And that, to us, is peace. Because we are ignorant. Lord, make us aware of what's right in our own neighborhood. Families struggling to have food day to day, or are worried about the heat staying on this winter, or look at the rent, because they can't afford a home of their own. And see that they will never have a home. Lord, that's the world that we're a part of too. That we would grow wealthy and keep others from a home. So, Lord, we pray for a better sense of grace in our lives and in the lives of those that we celebrate in our lives. Lord, usually we, we uphold those who are industrious, but when they are industrious at a cost and a hurt to others, Lord, teach us to be the confrontation we need to be. Lord, we see protests all around us. We've seen protests against injustice. We've seen protests and violence for violence's sake. Lord, we see protests now for inadequacies in people's livelihood. But also, Lord, for people eager to get what they want, no matter the cost. Lord, we seek your justice. That people may learn to have peace with what is good and what is right. Not what makes us look good or gives us the advantages we think we need, but calls us into your grace and service and to be signs of that for others. And Lord, we pray for those who are caught in the middle of all of this, in these troubles and these conflicts, who are trying to make a stand for peace, not by even remaining neutral, but within their own parties, within their own groups, within their own unions, within their own fellowship, within among their friends and their family who are saying, no, this isn't justice. Lord, what a hard and difficult stand that must be. So Lord, stand with them. 
Do they stand in your truth? Lord, help us when we lack courage, when we look into the will of our own souls and see much lacking and say, I can't do it anymore. Lord, we pray for those who in their sense of resources say, I'm too old, I, I don't have enough, I, I, I'm not strong enough, I'm not able, I, I have lack the time. Lord, you are master of all time and space and all the things in it. Lord, reset our clocks to work on the moment-to-moment -moment revelation that is the truth of your love in our lives and meant to be in the lives of others. Let us bring healing to one another and to the nations. Lord, let us serve our brothers and sisters, this wonderful fellowship in this beautiful world this wonderful creation that you have called us to care for. And Lord, we pray for that healing. Yes, in the face of this pandemic, bring this terrible time, we pray, to an end. And Lord, help us respect each other on that journey. That we will grow in understanding and we will learn how to be compassionate and how to avoid this trouble for generations to come. Lord, we pray for the continuing illnesses that plague our society. Cancer seems to be present in around every corner. And the old illnesses of tuberculosis and Ebola, they haven't gone away. Lord, there are epidemics throughout our world of, of other conditions. And Lord, we pray for the, the doctors and the nurses that go out from their homes to help bring these, these troubling situations to a close. That people can find healing in their lives. Lord, we pray for, for those working in medical centers and care homes and rehabilitation centers. Lord, we pray for those who are receiving care for, for mental illness and the struggle that is for their families and it's being so hard to understand. So many of its symptoms remain buried in our minds and our souls. Lord, bring healing between us and among us to those broken families that are broken because of addictions, because of poverty, because of the strain that comes with working endless hours and never receiving enough, never working enough. Lord, we pray for children in this world we've just prayed for. We want a better tomorrow for them. We want peace for them. Lord, help us to teach them joy of peace and not just the pain of fighting for peace. Lord, help them to celebrate peace in their lives, peace in their souls, to offer them Christ in the way that speaks to them in their circumstances. And so, Lord, we pray at last for those, those who have gone out from their homes to make peace, where peace seems impossible who have stood against the enemy and unrighteousness. We pray for the families of those who have died in that service, who have died in militaries, who have died in supporting military services. Lord, in the past century, we have not proven ourselves to be a people of peace. So Lord, teach us again what it means to love, peace, and seek for it. As we go out this day, may we offer a service and a life of peace to others. This in Christ, in his peace we pray. Amen.